Hey, just wanted to take a quick moment in this segment to talk about some upcoming movies. Actually managed to get uh, Spencer, who's usually behind the scenes, yeah. on camera. You start talking about Super movies. Change. Now you're talking Spencer's about language. Yeah. Go to got it. opinions. Yeah. Um, Spencer, coming up is uh, one of the first things that jumps to my mind is Clash of the Titans. Yeah, I was uh, telling you I hadn't seen the original, but I saw the trailer for the new one, and it looks pretty awesome. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for the Clash of the Titans remake, and unlike Prince of Persia, which is similar-ish territory... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's more of a video game movie, but well, it clearly is, and yeah. I don't know that there's been a good video game to movie No, I'd, I'd have, to, have to look back, but yeah. Yeah. Be Mario Brothers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Clash of the Titans. Uh, I thought. I think it's cool that it's gonna be in 3D. Yeah. Um, I think Sam Worthington actually looks pretty good in it. And he was in the Terminator Salvation movie, right? Yep. And yep. Avatar. He was the lead in Avatar. I still haven't seen Avatar. Yep. So he's, he's another kind of, 3D movie. It's kind of blowing up at the moment. So uh, he's got a lot going on. Uh, Liam Neeson's usually pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm a little bit worried about giving a little too much of the visuals away in the trailer, um, like the Kraken. I think the Kraken looks very cool, looks right. very well done, but I would have liked to have been surprised by that, but I still think I'll enjoy well, and it. That's, and that's the interesting thing, because having seen the original and grown up with it and loved it, loved it. Very aware of the whole Kraken yeah. thing. So that, watching the trailer, that's one of the things I wanted to see. Please show the Kraken, please show the Kraken. They did. Yeah, you get you got what there you want, is. and I'm hoping they just don't spoil it, it for me. It looks over the top. Uh, going in quick though about uh, 3D movies, I kind of live a 3D life. Do I need it in movies? Yeah, I just saw Alice in Wonderland in 3D, and oh. um, you know it, it really wasn't a huge addition to that movie. It's kind of overdone at this point. Okay, um, but I'm curious. I don't think it can hurt it. Like, I think it could make it a little bit more interesting. But it it seems like we're seeing more and more 3D movies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. There, before Alice, there was trailers for at least four or five, but we probably should keep moving at a we'll keep good moving. place. Um, Kick-Ass, finally coming out. Yep. I haven't read the comic at all, but I think it looks good. Have you seen the trailers? I have seen the trailers, and they look pretty entertaining. Hip Roughly Girl that. looks yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, Even Nicolas Cage shows up, and it doesn't look to be terrible. Yeah. doesn't look to be. I can't guarantee. I mean, supposedly, I mean, he has one of the confrontational sides of the I don't know how you want to describe he's supposedly the villain so but interesting. from the preview it doesn't really make him look like that no, so I, I, I don't know uh, I'm definitely interested I, I thought Wanted was great from Mark Millar so I'm curious yeah actually I, I liked it although very different from the book really different from the comic yeah. in fact it took me halfway through the movie to realize that it was still the comic and right? I thought it was, it was kind of a rip off of the Matrix but a better one yeah you're so, the dad and kick ass, yeah. Kevin. So after that, we got uh, The Losers on the April Losers. 20th. Never heard of it before. Just saw the trailer for it. Thought it looked great. Based and on a comic book, yet again. Another uh, woman or another person who's having a great year, Zoe Saladana yep. from Avatar and Star Trek. She's in it. She looks great. And she's just pretty. She's a pretty one, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And talented. Yep. She's not just looking. She's, she's got the whole package going on. All righty. Uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. I'm... Really excited. I'm totally on board with that. I think it looks fantastic. I think they couldn't have picked uh, a better actor. Is it Jack Early? Jackie Haley. Earl Haley Jack from Earl. Uh, Rorschach from Which Watchmen. Which stole the movie, in my opinion. Yeah, he really, really, really took it over the top. Jason's motioning Human something. Target, oh, Human I, Target, yeah. Fox. The show that Jason watches, and maybe you. Jason watches. Um, based on a comic book. Yes, yes it, it is, is based, based on, on a comic, comic book. book. And it supposedly is going to get another bunch of episodes so maybe right. we'll, they'll get watched one of these days yeah uh iron man 2 we've seen the trailer for excited i i don't know how excited like i really want i want to love i want to it, love i want to love i think it looks great it could suffer from the classic comic book uh movie problem of having too much going on right like there are too many heroes too many villains so i'm holding out faith that they'll make it come through because John Favreau is great and yeah. Robert Downey Jr. too. So and actually, uh, Mickey Rourke is really good. Mickey too. Rourke's good. Mm -hmm. I imagine he'll do the role well. I just don't know if it's a solid. Role. Yeah, I, I mean I don't know, but I, I mean the first Iron Man was such a big surprise. I yeah. loved it, so I'm yeah. definitely looking forward to. You it. know a way we can find out? Pirating the movie. I just meant watch the movie. Oh, I good. wouldn't say pirate. That's I would good. never say pirate. That's not okay. Um, speaking of pirates and avenging. Robin Hood. They're doing a Robin Hood remake. With uh, Russell Crowe. I'm directed in. By, uh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Ridley Scott. Yeah. Should I'm be, should be a hardcore action film. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking to erase 
the Kevin Costner one from my mind. You know, I didn't even mind the Kevin Costner one so much, but I think uh, Russell Crowe and Ridley Scott are a tremendous combination. I mean, Gladiator was one of the best so period good. films, period action films. In Have the... you watched that Spartacus TV show yet? I've seen one episode. I was it's the 300 it. plus, uh, Gladiator. plus Gladiator. That's all it yeah, is. Verbatim, yeah. It's Great. Knockoff. Um, I guess we'll talk Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, we mentioned it earlier. Not technically a yeah, comic film, no, but, but it's, it's still in that same vein. Video games, comics. I and, you know, I, so. I think it's probably going to be a fairly shallow film, but it's Jerry Bruckheimer. It's going to be action-packed. You know, he's going to blow shit up with the best of them. Yeah. So I'm curious to see it just for that reason. I like explosions. I do like explosions, I like explosions. Too. Uh George Romero coming out with Survival of the Dead. He's kind of the guy who's the master of the zombies, so I'm curious yeah. to see what he does with that. I always enjoy the films. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, he I does. Like he, he really knows how to get inside the mind of a zombie. He's he's actually the really the creator. If you think of everything that modern day zombies do, yeah, he's the one who initiated all that. Oh, totally, without a doubt. He's, yeah. I mean, he's got a like a renaissance going now, going on now, thanks to Zack Snyder and. Uh, Bringing back Dawn of the Dead with his remake that kind right. of brought more interest in the, the genre in 28 Days. Definitely yeah. brought it back, too. So those Zombieland. two films really... Zombieland, yep. All, the, all that really sort of reinvigorated the interest in zombies. Tying it into a comic book, The Walking Dead. Yep. Bam. Looking for that TV Look show if they actually ever get around to doing something like it that. It seems like they are. I mean, they, I they, keep hearing news blurs, but until I see like video frames right. or like still images or something, I'm... Not going to believe it. Fair enough. Uh, and then uh, last on our just sort of quick list, Jonah Hex. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't know anything about that. Never read that series. Greg has uh, been a strong proponent of it all along. Awesome. I, I think, uh, you know, Megan Fox is a little bit of a concern since she's sort of a uh, loose cannon. You never know what to expect from her. But Josh Brolin, wonderful yeah. actor. I think I have tremendous faith in him. Not sure... Uh, about set in the Wild West, I kind of usually have problems with period pieces, but I'll give it a shot without a I, doubt because of Josh Brolin. I love me a good Western. Love me a good Western. Problem is there aren't many good Westerns no. nowadays, so no, that's not. Kind, of, it's, kind of a concern. It's not a strong market, but Except I love me a good Western. Kevin Costner keeps trying to reinvigorate it. Well, yeah, but Kevin Costner also does a whole, like, terrible. You take a decent idea and give it to Kevin Costner, you got Waterworld. Yeah. You got The Postman. You got Yeah, any this, number of see? things. Uh, I guess the question is, out of all these films, which are you most interested in? Which two, let's say? Definitely The Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think The Clash of the Titans. I'm really, really excited for it. Robin Hood 2. Sorry, I know that's three, but... Uh, I would have to go Iron Man, number one. Um, I, I think the ones you mentioned are definitely intriguing. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street definitely is intriguing for the... Uh, the remake aspect of the same with Clash of Titans. But Iron Man 2, just because I love the first one, total surprise to me. I'm interested to see what happens. I got faith. I hope they don't let me down. And number two, I'm going to go with Losers, just because I had never heard of it. You never were really into it. I, th I thought the awesome. trailer looked a lot of fun. I think, you know, Zoe Saladana really mm -hmm. has been on, on the mark the last year or so. So that's my pick. Um, I guess they should share their picks with us Yeah. on the website, which is... Yeah. Backroompodcast.com. There you have it. This is the movie segment. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. <laughs>